Alright. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't touch me. Don't touch We're me. We're on camera. Alright, ready? Ready? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Yep. Ready? Yeah. What's up guys, I'm Cody Fleming and I'm Jacob Barnum and today we're going to be doing another scent review. We just got another package, it's a raccoon scent, it's a lure that you can use for trapping or for dog training. Now as you might be able to tell by the thumbnail, we have gotten a dog, it's a black and tan coon hound. We'll make sure to show you him here in a minute but first off we got to check out what's in this package and uh, kind of tell you what we think about it. We got several coon hides to put it on. I'm going to take tails, all that sorts of stuff. I've never done anything with coon training, so this should be pretty interesting. I'll, I'll definitely want to stick around and see it all, so hopefully you, you guys will too. So uh, we'll get this stuff open and see what happens. So here it is. It's the Nightlight Natural Sense. It's Coon Trail. That's the name of it. We'll show you what it looks like right here. Pretty clean looking, pretty neat. Uh, like I said, this is mainly going to be used for dog training and stuff like that. Uh, it can be used for trapping too. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if it's just like boar coon or if it's just a mixture of sow and boar coon, but uh, either way, I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be like raccoon uh, pee or something like that. What else you got to say about that? I've messed around with like pheasant scents, you know, training my uh, bird dog, but they, I haven't really ever done anything with like this or even hunted for coons in certain, so this is going to be pretty cool. Hopefully Cody can get his dog trained and by next coon season you guys will be seeing our videos all about it and we'll be running them and I think it'll be pretty cool but yeah I've messed around a couple other scents. I want to get my bird dog on some uh, antler scents because they have those. I don't really know how that all works but that'd be pretty sick too. So you guys better stick around and see what happens. And uh, But right off the bat I can tell you it does not smell nearly as bad as that gusto trap stuff we used last that winter. gusto stuff was bad. That was awful not even out of the package and you could instantly smell that stuff so already off to a better start than that one probably gonna make Jake smell this here in a second no. just no I opened it just get a whiff let's see what no, it's all about we're not doing real, it. Quick, do real quick real quick right anything. after you I'm not doing it. come on you you do it first will you do it right after me yeah I swear you got it I, I didn't You can't even like smell it. It's not that bad. Here. I was gonna say, good. I won't even do it. <laughs> here, smell it. No, no, smell no, it. <laughs> no, no. Okay, you. So we're gonna go test this out on a couple raccoon hides. See what uh, see what the dog thinks. Hopefully he'll kind of get attracted to it and start to understand that he's supposed to be going after some raccoons. So we'll show you how we'll do that. Stay tuned and uh, let's go see if it works. All right, guys. So if you can't tell, this is Walker right here. No, he's not a walker. Like a walker breed, he's a black and tan. Hey! You gotta stop barking real quick. He's just excited. So, we're gonna get in here, show you a little bit more about him. Go check it out. Back up, dog. Back up. He's just a little under 10 weeks right now. He's doing pretty good. Uh, we've taken him out for walks and stuff like that. He's learning pretty fast. Uh, He's pretty excited right now, I doubt he will. Good, but he can sit and shake and stuff like that. So now we're gonna start working on the actual like, the actual like coon training stuff. Like with the scent and like the raccoon uh uh like live raccoons and stuff where you have them in a cage and have like the dog chase after them and stuff. So this is the dog right here. Mm, walker. So we're probably gonna Go take him someplace over on the hill, see if we can get him out in the open where he's not really familiar with, and uh, train him on the raccoon scent on a hide. Uh, all you really do is just put the scent on the hide itself. You might want to attach like a string or something to it so you can pull it around and let him chase it, but that's the plan as of now, so stick around and we'll see if we can come up with a plan. Alright, so we're heading over across the hill, like I was saying, to kind of get him out of his comfort zone and to maybe help him better focus on us, because uh, when he's around the house, all I can think about is either playing with the other dogs or just messing around with something that he's familiar with. So, in the past, when I've taken him over here and stuff before, he's kind of not sure about everything, so he'll stay closer to me and, uh, oh, oh, and uh, more willing to do whatever like I'm kind of asking him to do. So. Hopefully this will help him focus. He's doing pretty well in the back right now. Uh, 
trying to get him used to not jumping as much and being as energetic because he's like I said he's only 10 weeks old right now and when he's all said and done he could be anywhere from uh, 60 to 75 pounds so we don't want a giant dog jumping on us so like I said we're gonna head up over here and hopefully have a good day of training we got a trek here I believe, yeah, that must be a raccoon track. And then we got a dog print. I think this might be where Cody's walking his dog. That puppy's got some big feet, but look at that. Some coon tracks. Some more dog prints over here. It must be where he was walking his dog. All right, so we made it to where we're going to try training. We're just in the middle of a field right now. Jake just saw some tracks right back there, so pretty promising for this coming season so we're gonna get out use some of this scent stuff on the raccoon hide and see what he does he's been going after the hide just as it is but I mean he's not relating that to a raccoon because it doesn't have any scent or anything like that so hopefully after we combine the two it works out in our favor and he'll be a little smarter than he is right now Walker come on But also right now, I'm working on like the leash control kind of stuff, so I don't want him to think he can pull me around and stuff like that, so I'm keeping it as short as I possibly can right now. And that's another thing with being someplace else that he's not familiar with. If we're around the house, he kind of knows where he's going and he thinks he can just go wherever he wants. So when we're out here, he's kind of more vulnerable to uh, trust me and what I have to say. Like you can tell right now, he hasn't tried to run out anywhere. He's just staying by my side for the most part right now, sniffing some stuff. But he's trusting me right now, so that's kind of what you're looking for. Got him walking, stretching a little bit right now, so now we're going to go test out the raccoon scent and see how it works. Look at him. Look at that walker. Walker. Look at him. This has no scent on it right now. I've, like I said before, I've been messing around with the hide by itself with him but I'm hoping this will add another little step to our training. Now, I don't know how much you're supposed to put on, where you're supposed to put it, but what do you think? Just put it kind of... I don't know, I wouldn't run it, I wouldn't put it on the inside, I'd put it on the outside, of course. Well, but I know that, but like I'm talking like all throughout, I don't know. Just give it a couple drops, cause you... Mm -hmm. Mosquito, god dang it. Ready? Yep. So here we go, I don't know. Just give her a couple of drops here and there. I wouldn't even go lighter than that if I was you. You would go lighter? I would go lighter. I don't know how I've spread out to do it. I'm gonna avoid the nose and the tail so that I can still grab onto it. Does that look like enough? Yeah, yeah, you definitely gotta know. All right. Walker, come. Hey, hey come on. Come here. Oh, I just got wrecked on the piano. All right, Walker, here, look. See if he gets adjusted to the smell. He's definitely get getting it. the scent. Get it, come on. Get it. Here, we'll unhook him for a second. Yeah. Let's see if he kind of does a little, a little better. Walker, come on. Get it, come on. Now we're just going to let him play with it for a bit. Uh, get him used to it, and then eventually, when he does get used to it, he'll, uh, I think he'll be more uh, adjusted and willing to go after and kind of understand that's what he's supposed to be doing. So we'll just kind of introduce it to him and see how it goes. He's already kind of going after. He's probably trying to figure out like what is that, but he's doing good. Like I said, it's like 90 degrees out today, so he's probably not loving it. But it's a start. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? Get it. All right, so we've been playing with him for a couple minutes now. He's starting to get a little tired. He's starting to get a feel for it, I think. Uh, for his first day with the scent, I think he's doing all right. He's not gonna just jump right out there, but I mean, he understands that, he's, he's seeing it as a toy, basically, right now. Uh, he knows that this is what he's, you wanna make this as enjoyable for them as possible, like a dog with like a tennis ball or something like that. You want this to be their form of like a toy. Like if he knows that this is fun and this is something that he's, he enjoys, he's more likely to want to do it. So overall, not a bad first day. We will keep using that raccoon scent stuff. Uh, 
I think it will be the key to kind of helping us uh, make him a really good coon dog when it's all said and done. Uh, we are going to do some uh, other stuff with like a raccoon roll cage type of thing where you put the coon in the cage, let him chase after it and stuff. But uh, that'll be in some other videos. So if you are liking these kind of coon dog vlogs and stuff like that, uh, stick around, subscribe, and there will be plenty more to come. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are kind of enjoying this kind of coon dog series we got going on here uh, this is brand new to me and Jake and uh, it's, it's just something kind of new and interesting to do uh, we haven't ever tried anything like this well Jake has his bird dog that he's trying to get trained and stuff yeah. but yeah this is kind of our new adventure thing we're gonna try out kind of learn from it and see how we make out by the time coon season rolls around but uh Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.